Well, hello people of YouTube and internet, it is I, ChipGP, back with another amazing, well okay, not so amazing, drawing project of me drawing my thumbnails, which is all constantly getting shorter and shorter, but actually the amount of video inside is bigger and bigger, but because the quality, okay, the quality, okay, I would say my quality standard is again not super high, and mostly these thumbnails are very simplified, and have some minuses, some pluses, and that other stuff. So I guess without very long intro, we're gonna continue. And on this note, I also say right now I am doing something new on my Patreon where you can support me, and I will actually shout out you like your name and how much you support me. Okay, actually I think it's a fact for later, but you know, guys know who watch my video till the end. So if you want to know more, I will recommend to watch till the end, or just press the skip button or turn the speed of the YouTube video to maximum speed. To just go through my drawings like I usually do that when I'm getting ready to upload it. Okay, on this note, let's just watch it already. Okay, so the first thumbnail was for Mippy Dreams, and for idea for this thumbnail, it was Mippy, the character we've seen before, who will have find his eyes and who will stand behind the fire. Because as I played this game, the concept of this game was really weird and have some bring up some weird things like laboratory testing. Freaking shark pigs, uh, shark with big mouths, and a lot of horrible stuff. So, man, I was confused by this character. Dreams. And for now, for this batch, it's like one of the shortest video. I. Okay, the one, the shortest one. So, Mippy. Okay, first of all, trying to be close to the original art style, but I guess I just draw Mippy, not in the art style, because first of all, I think Linus is a bit more thinner there. They use different kind of bucket tool, well, okay, it kind of, okay, it doesn't look like this, only because of the back, and maybe, maybe, like, also I don't think Mippy would look like this in profile, okay, maybe I could give him a little bit, no, so like, no dogs have this expanded mouse, I uh, maybe should get lines to show that expanded mouse, but other uh, stuff, the ears, uh, they, one ear sharp, going down, and the other is more circular, I think originally I did both circular, but then decided to go with one more triangle. I didn't decide to fix the next one because in my mind it looked pretty fine. Uh, here a little bit dent, here a little bit opposite of the dent on the mouse, and also a little bit nose color is going upside of bench base. Also, if you notice the fire, the fire which is separate from the main fire, the line is where's the cloud a little bit cut off. Well, because first of all, you think I used to use the for clouds I used to use the white liners, which would constantly remove some of the black liners of object, which will be more unfrap the clouds. So that's what be a case. I think I stopped doing that because I noticed that. But it will be a problem. Actually, I think it's some I... Actually, okay, I did make Crocky, I think it's literally the latest, no, no, it's pre-latest video. You could see that mistake with clouds. I also decided to fix it by adding some color to the liners and then doing that stuff and that stuff. But mostly, yeah, decided to color the clouds in the same color layer, so without liners at all. Okay, well, this one is very short, nothing much to say. The next one is a bit more complicated. Well, but actually, I think it's one of my, okay, not the best, but it's one of the nicest. Let's go. Okay, so the next one is about multiverse trailer. I was reacting to one of those trailers, and because idea of this the fighting game, I decided to put my characters inside of this universe. Of course, not in the art style of multiverse because multiverse art style is somewhat 3D-ish, and I try not to do 3D stuff a lot. Although maybe I could try, I don't know, no, probably bad idea to do that. Now, for ideas, I decided to use characters from my favorite comic series DC, and one of them being Superman and one of them being Batman. Superman will be a joke where it's impossible to punch him, and my positive self totally would try punching Superman, and totally starting regretting this. While Batman says it's a stupid idea, and negative me would agree with him. So you know, kind of negative will be on the same page with Batman, but still, he will not be super fanatic about this. Now, for this one, I use lots of reference images from multiverse, but again, mostly I think I was using from trailers because, yeah, from trailers. Trying to do lots of those lines to show muscular, the body, turning the head and that stuff. Try to hit in this bed. Because for bed, I'll try to hide. 
Okay, not because I didn't want to make a full symbol, but because I think it's usually hidden. For bad? Okay, I don't even remember what I did for bad. The bad. The utility bad. The utility belt. Damn it. Okay, not every of his gadget called bad gadgets. Okay, the totally does, but utility bad is exception. I don't remember where I found the utility bad, because I think maybe in this one he's more yellowish. Oh no, I, I, yeah, I think I lost his reference of utility belt. I think the leg was the problematic area because I didn't find any good legs. I don't know, with Superman there was legs, with Batman... Yeah, there also was legs, so... I decided not to just draw legs. Okay, you know what, probably saying, are you wondering? Well, yeah, I'm wondering, because I make this drawing process in... Couple of days. And I already don't remember what I was planning or what I was doing. But for Superman, okay, I did design no first of all... I did those effects I start usually using. Okay, not super usually, but it was one of my main use where the neck will go inside of the body and the, the shoulders will go from the neck and they will be lying of the neck inside of the body and yes yeah, something like this it's what i've started using a lot recently but also also these hands which just go like this on side on on the body so you know yeah hands on the body actually man i, I need to do anything for because i don't maybe not maybe not, maybe not. I doubt he will have pause in multiverse. Okay, the line in the four. I doubt he will have this in multiverse because I think this design will be a little bit simplified. Okay. Actually, it's not the first time I draw Superman. <coughs> but, I first, but I think it's the first time I decide to change his eyes a little bit. Okay, in the first one I draw Superman, he was drawn in my typical art style. Well, okay, a little bit different, but my typical art style with my bump, with my half circle eyes and that stuff. Okay, not much circle, but I don't remember the name of this shape. But here I give the characters, okay, except for Batman, the character, well, the spray I give him the normal eyes, which I do whenever I try to do different people art style. Because different people do different eyes. Which is, I would say, sometimes I like. And then with my characters, I also like it. But with my characters, I still try to give them a little bit more simplified design. And also, right now, you see a comic book books and yeah typical because i just noticed that i missed the spot in my in my negative self sleeve well you know it's amazing that i'm doing this video because now i can fix it and it's been like this for a lot of days i didn't even notice this well unless i didn't forget the beard because usually man also this is just forgetting that go give my characters a beard but you know it is not a fatal mistake Okay, also I give the characters those chin lines, man, also stop doing lots of this. Maybe it's a lip slime. Now I would say the chin line. Also Batman also have this. But again, saying Batman is more simplified than Superman. Oh, Superman, well, his room clothes is also a bit simplified. And his ass is super bendy. Because I can under his ass nicely. Okay, I think it's everything I want to say. So for the next one we go. And the next one belongs to one of my famous gameplays about... The famous game of generation, Great Defense the Awakening. If you never heard about this, shame on you. But yeah, for this one, okay, with Great Defense not much ideas. Okay, because mostly uh, there's like only one perspective and mostly one similar level. So it's most level reference whatever happened inside of the episode or level I was playing. In this level, okay, the parasites, well, this Instructelia was trying to steal my course and they of bloody succeeding. So I decided to do a typical sketch about old man Jenkins who will try to get the kids of his yard from stealing whatever he grows there. I grow cores and those parasitic bastards grow grow and take my cores. Also for my characters I did him a bit more oldish, I give him a little bit longer beard, so it's one of the cases where I give him longer beard. For aliens I decide to okay it's one I use what I draw last time, try to be close to that, but again, change the eye perspective and mostly, yeah, they both still copy paste the aliens because, I don't know, I doubt they will have any very unique details, because they're freaking aliens of insect, and to be fair, when you look at an insect, can you tell the difference between them? Okay, actually, you can, like, there's a bit different colors, and, well, they're still pretty much the same, but, yeah, I think, if you, like, want to look for it, you can easily find it. Now, there's a comics. Uh, clouds, I decide to X-Men. Okay, I would say when I was doing clouds, I usually use a very different color most of the time. Because I don't know, I... Okay, that's why I like hate reading blue colors, like... 
the right color because it looks super cartoony and like like a kid drawings. I'm mean, not saying my drawings generally look like a kid drawing, but you know it's a little bit more kidginess than I need and more I like. Now of course again pretty simplified. I'm standing on a hill with a little bit of grass and this cliff. Actually I think the last one that I also was a cliff and I started making those cliffs. Again once I like simply not down for cliffs but I noticed I did a little bit more. Also a little bit inside cracks or ground effect. But again it's not very strong. Also I think it was about time I start using okay, I think I start using also whenever eyes have closed I would draw in a line and remove and keep some lines which is go beyond some lines. Okay, it's probably some stupid, but look at my eyes and see what how they differ from what I usually do. That's what I'm trying to say to you. Not eyebrows, the eyes itself. And also look what I'm pointing. That part. Also give myself okay, you know what? Yeah, I also give myself the farm uh, closing. Well, okay, I will not say every farm of wear this, but I think I will try to for one wear. With the tank top, my still tank top, because Pojab will always have his P and a tank top. Okay, sometimes exception, there will be exception in this video, you can also see it. Also, for the grabbing course, I decided just to put the coin inside of this guy's mouth. Also, I did his eyes a bit more different to, I don't know, try to create the illusion of them being a different guys. And not totally, totally copy pasted characters because they are totally copy pasted. They're just different. Yeah, I don't know, I like even different to be fair, but sometimes it's such a pain in the ass to make it. Okay, I would say I have the CY drop and 10 from. Okay, drop and 10 civilians. And let's say I'm trying to be original, but again, again, if I have to. Okay, if I have to, I will probably draw some original aliens, but I think I also want the more to reuse text. Or just use the same body structure, just mix them a little bit of different. I would say I would be able to do this. Or maybe just draw a bunch of lines and then give a shape. Because again, for details, I usually work on characters and make background, but that's my detail time. Just a lazy piece of crap. So I cannot do this. Well, I mean, I can, but again, lazy piece of crap. Okay, while well, I'm done insulting myself, for the next one. We shall go, and the next one is actually pretty, uh, okay, British, I would say, but exactly what I want. Okay, not exactly, but somewhere there. Okay, so for the next one, I start reacting to how should I end it, because, okay, first of all, I would say, in the line of reaction, I really don't have no idea where it stands, like, there's sometimes content people react to more often, and there's some content people not reacting at all, okay, the people still reacting that super little. Okay, I would say Cass is one of those YouTubers, because first of all, I think that I saw a little bit more of his reaction. But maybe because I saw one person and it was react to almost every one of his videos. But to be fair, of course, kind of content is not very react to. But how you should end it, I would not even be able to guess the place. Now, for this one, it was trying to do in the art style of cast. Like, you know, I call it the art style challenge. Where I will be close to the original. And mostly this whole panel is based on one moment of the cast animation I didn't get. It was about how Brave has to be ended, and it was one of confusing ending ever. Okay, if you watch this, how it should end it, you'll probably know what the hell is going on. And the comment about negative me is not weird at all, and positive me reaction is more usual than you imagine. For background, I okay, get decided to draw hills and the clouds, and the sky blue. Still, the liners of clouds go through black lines, so. Yeah, still not fixing this mistake. And it's super obvious, like, I totally see, like, it's it's not nice. But, yeah, for design, again, trying to be in the art style of how it should end. So, with bubble eyes, the most bubble eyes. Also, did not well the shadering. Okay, to be fair, I think the how it should end it is more about the more unique details about it, because of the size of the eyes, that mostly a lot of characters will have those extended chins. Like, lots of them have extended sheets. With exception, but mostly all of them. And whenever they shock, they you have full eyes. Like, they don't have just dots, it's full open eyes with this one color pupils. So, negative me will be in the normal state where his one pupil will be in color of his eyes, while point of me will have the white puzzle eye and blue eyes. Which I think the point of me looks super weird. But again, it's something I understand and know it will happen. I try to do lots of the shadering, but the first shadering is one of the things I do randomly, and if I'm gonna do it, I usually have a nice reference image of where the shadow is supposed to be. 
And now I guess the shadows it can look like okay here. Okay, I have nothing much about against the shadows. Okay, maybe for the me shadows will look pretty good. Next of me is still maybe okay, but yeah, still okay. So hands. Okay, I think and uh, how it's needed, the hands a bit more slender. I, I, I think the characters generally need a bit more slender. No, if I'm gonna do it, I next time will try to draw a bit more slender character. I like guess mostly the head, which is similar to not well, okay, I would say on on percentage it would be uh, 42 percent, or maybe even less. The body is just simple my character's body. Well, both of me will have the line inside of the body, which I don't do in my official art style. But you know, it's something. Yeah, it's something I do. Do for other characters, but not my OCs. Okay, on this note. I think it's about time to go to the next drawing, and the next drawing also pretty. Okay, it, it's more complicated, but I would say it's still simple. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so the next drawing in the line of me wanting to draw my characters and art style of the city, and then in the form of the city, like you know, whenever you draw yourself an art style of SpongeBob, usually it's on yourself and put SpongeBob to wear pants. I decided to draw my Impsona. Okay, originally I was playing it for a very long time, but I still not show for what video. I was thinking about the reaction to that episode where Strider appeared. But still that kind of required me to draw my OC in the cowboy outfit. And Murder Family, I originally was one of my ideas was to draw them in the art style. Ah, just with Murder Family and then be it like that. But then to my mind, and you know what if I'm not going to draw in Sona in Sona now, I have no idea when I view. So I decided to draw my characters in Sona. It's still positive and negative, but now you can see can see them as in. Because, okay, previously I think with this pop you saw my point of self as his husband Fatel Sona, which is a somewhat like a platypus demon. And then I, I will say you have to see the negative me husband Fatel Sona. Which also I would say, okay, I actually would plan to make it very soon. Okay, maybe with my latest, okay, not late, because again I said I made content in advance. Which I actually have lots of content. He prepares. But for that stuff. Yeah. Again, it's one of the super simplest drawing. But okay, for backgrounds, I literally have no idea what I have to do, so I decided to just draw something like a hellish road. This is a blood sky because I think that's what kind of sky I have. So for design, okay, usually my characters have black hair, but I decided to give them white, but still, too close to my character's nature, I decided to make them a bit darker. Also, I would say that skull shape is a bit more difficult with characters. I mostly, yeah, man, they're not so deep for what they usually have. Okay, I would say, okay, the eye colors, yeah, I have no idea how, actually, maybe Imps will have such eye colors. Okay, well, actually, one of the minuses is the fact that, while negative me will have lines on his beard, well, white part of his skin, which is supposed to look like a beard, negative, positive me will have nothing like this, okay, because with positive me I forgot to draw his beard and then add it up later. Again, add it up in this way, in this way. Yeah, actually I would say it's a nice way to grow beard, because first of all I have no idea that actually not try to have masters, so maybe imps can grow beards. Well you know, it, ah, I see it's more cute and more cooler than it's just typical white spots from, from imp parties. But for that note, yeah, not much to it. Also I would say I start drawing jacket, first of all, the armpit of the negative me, there's line on the armpit. Which I saw a bunch of time on the drawing process. And also I decided to draw jacket with little triangle, and you can see like one short. It's not the often way I will draw this, but there will be some project where I will draw this, like this. Like, you know, I think in this art style the clothes will be also different, like what I usually do. And also you can notice the white spot on the tip of the tail, and on the palm of the hand. Of the both of them. Of the, yeah, on the both of them you can easily see it. Well, again, because of me, a bit more smaller on his, from his perspective, that would be his left arm, I would say. Yeah, his left arm. But, you know, it's just because I did it this way. Also, talking about them being an Impson, because, I don't know, I would say the only reason why he an is because I didn't want to make Impson, and I was reacting to have a boss and decided just to draw Impson because I didn't have much idea, and I didn't want to miss this opportunity to draw him sooner. Okay, on this note, for the next one, which I would say... If one character was awesome, but some characters it was not so great. On the background, nah. 
Okay, so the next one for my gameplay of Prince Construction Walking Dead, where there was a character with so much charisma and such a look, and I started to do this character in the exact same voice he was, but I would say how he looked in the game. Okay, first of all, the art style of this game is trying to be realistic, but I would say it's kind of cubical slash... Oh, graphic... Okay, it's cubical and that stuff, and I can do this, and it's also pretty... No, it's... How can I say it's 3 -ish? Yeah, it kind of looks like it would be 3 d -ish. But for that stuff, again, I uh, go pretty simple, but I guess they... It's still super different, like, you have to know exactly what character it is to tell who it, it is. And also because I was simple for this character so much, I decided to draw my positive self freaking needle to him, except him as his new god. Or my negative self, like, usually just will be shocked by what part of me doing. But him, I decided to draw it the circle. His butt, his tip of hair, and the arm switch will go there. For next to me, I decided to draw him just turn his neck. Okay, I would say, okay, one of the problems also have then whenever I draw characters, they usually have like super big body compared to the body, to, uh, super heads compared to the body, man. Also, the point of me, like, judging by the tip of his head, man, his head is super short on this one. I don't know, it's not one of those me things I care much. For background, Okay, it was it's one of those stats when he was staging, the boxes which were in the casting, and the symbol of these guys. Which I think I used in my previous drawing about Iberian Polarot. Or my previous drawing about drawing the Ben Swiss Civilian. We'll put the link down there, probably. Uh, yeah, absolutely we'll put the link down there for you to know what I'm talking about. But all that stuff. I decided to draw him apps. Wait, is it realistic apps? And also don't remember about the apps. Also I did the legs. Okay, I need to learn how to draw my tabs. Maybe that's how I decide to draw apps. But I guess it's not so great. Also, man, I should draw him chest. Man, I regret it. Also, uh, the legs, which will be without separation lines. Because, okay, well, actually, I think whenever I'm drawing legs, they never separate by lines. But this leg will go outside on, on top of the body, while the other leg will do basically the same thing. You know, I don't know how to explain it more better. Yeah, I have no idea, so let's not keep it any longer. And for the next one, we shall go. Then there will be pretty much Oh, because not so many videos, I would say. Okay, not for the next one, we go. Okay, my collection of retro games just getting bigger and bigger because this game is from 19, I have no idea what else. It's an issue that all this game I'm playing right now. It's point and click, I think, during that age. And also, it have to do something like you know, the Utopia with. Separate from trash people slash factory people. I have to draw myself in with this very long leg, with this very long cloak, the pink shirt with this big place where the neck go through, and it will be super big, doing something like showing lots of this skin part. Also, I have chest hair. Also, I think I give positive myself also have chest hair. So I know that's quite accurate with that. Also, a bunch of trash, and I just had to draw the Bimo. Well, actually, a very minimalistic Bimo, but again, not so much did. I did the same background as in the level I was doing, well, in the factory level, but the trash, I would say, is a bit more big. Okay, coming to the trash, okay, I, I know, okay, I know sometimes people like literally draw stuff in the pile of trash. I just want to do the same thing, but I literally have no strength, so I just had to just draw a bunch of lines, different color. And that maybe some more details like a pole, a stick, and a gear. Also, this beam of So, I'd say I like making mush of colors yeah, rather than drawing the, like the full time object and look, make them look deeper. But still, I'd say I would agree that doing this and just, not just mush of color, I actually items, it's more nice. But again, it's fine enough to make this stuff. Also, I'm folding the floppy disk because this game probably could be on a floppy disk. I'm not sure. Maybe, uh, okay, it was 19 something something. What, what does DVD? Okay, from my. I'm not sure what exists back there. I have to check. And even when I check, I'm not sure what to look for. Also, starts in my eyes like usual. And man, not much to say. It's pretty simple. Nothing special here. So, I guess for the next one, I shall go. Okay, so the next one is in line of me trying to do lots of work here, trying to. First of all, it's trying to be in the hostile of my next reaction series, uh, Meta Run, which is first of 3D, and I as uh, I learned in my past. But then I draw 3D, it looks weird, or super cute. This one looks weird. 
I'm trying to first of all draw the eyes how they draw there, which I don't even remember how they draw eyes. I think I have a reference image about eyes of the characters and start drawing it. For the plot, it will be pose itself as a meta run, but like super knockoff version with his prosthetic being made of cardboard. They would say like he freaking chop off his arm and get this cardboard prosthetic. It just don't even actually work. Ah, I think mostly because of the way I do it, it looks super creepy. But again, it's super unique to be fair. But still creepy. And for that, yeah, not much to say. I mean, I would say I didn't nail the Meta Run art style because again, it's 3D and uh, okay, whenever I'm trying to do Meta. What I'm trying to do in this art style, it's usually super different from my original, because mostly my hands are not good to make really close to original. And also because my characters have some unique details which I'm trying to imply, and in this series they're not often appeared. Like in uh, actually, I think in, okay, I want to say in Hello Bus, mostly we see imps, but it's a lie because we also saw humans. And if I would say, I did draw my human version of C in the art style of Hello Boss, which was pretty. Uh, Fine. Again, we'll send up to show how it will look in this art. But you know what? I think I would say pretty close. Yeah, for us, with these white dots, with this color going on color, and this most likely color go in the form of this arc. Well, the reverse arc. And for background, man, I would say I still decide to go. Okay, I, th I think it's exactly the same background as in the hell of a boss, my previous reaction video. Because I don't know, the background I didn't have much ideas. For Cloud, I decided to use different kind of brush and the moon. That's different color circle, supposed to be a moon. And that's supposed to be the stars. Which, um, oh yeah, which I did. Uh, that's the. Yeah, I would say it's actually one of the most serious work, but again, the one that shown up creepy, but I would say creepy not in a worst way, creepy in an in okay way, way. I would say it's pretty much okay. But again, okay, the next composite hair is a bit more deep. I'd better be fair, I think the hair is always different because it's my inability to make the perfect cut. Plus, I had to draw this line on the neck and this line inside of the eyes because I think I saw something like this. Like, you know what? It's kind of what I have right now. Like, you see my eyes, the at least is more like that, but my eye socket are fully dark and I was trying to do the same effect. And for neck, yeah, I think it's mostly the gut apple, which I also think I saw in this. Well, it's 3D, so again, it's trying me trying to be close to art style of 3D, which again, not my area expertise, to be fair, man, drawing 3D. 3D is supposed to be animated in the display, stuff, 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 I have no idea how 3D animation works. I don't even have idea how 2D animation works. Well, I have some idea, but again, my 2D animation is always not the best it's work. Well, I guess, I would say among us is pretty okay, because there's some movement which you go frame by frame. Usually it's just sharp. Sharp frames. But for that stuff, nothing much to say. I would say my positive self, his eyes are super big, so it actually... And super nice effect, actually. It's some random detail I did, but it's actually very cool details. In sim, I didn't make it here a little bit more creepier. But both of me have a bit normal eyes, which is making him a bit more sane. Yeah, actually, man, it's details, very cool details I didn't notice I ever made. But for other stuff, let's just go to the next drawing, which I'll go right and now. Okay, I can totally say this funnel will be super short because it was for my stream, where I didn't want to do much because once I didn't have any ideas what will happen. Because while I'm streaming, I have no idea what will happen. And I usually come up with names after I played and already have a full desire what to name it. But most of this stream was about speed running, and I decided to draw my character series the fast through towards the week. I would say I didn't succeed. Well, I mean, I did speed run my first ever game, and I get okay, I don't know what place I take, and because again, it's not like official speed run, it's just mostly fun made speed run to see how fast I can beat the game. I will also try to get these achievements I didn't get, but later. Also, I use the same thumbnail twice because I stream two times a day. Like this was the first one where I used for my first stream. But then because I didn't get the achievements and I couldn't see because I really wanted these achievements, I decided to speed run one more time. And because I didn't want to create original funnel, I just decided to reuse it, but adding the text bubble saying I reuse this thumbnail. 
Hindi na mga price. What was this? Okay, it's going to crash again. Ah, again, not too much. I also did the effect of the swallow of the city of the background with lines of movement. You can notice this. Okay, actually, I have a tech bubble you cannot notice. It, but you can notice little part bubble behind my buttons. This was very intentional details. Also, I think this is the first time you see my characters like full body. Because nothing I think you see his shorts but not his legs. Because you never saw a negative me in this art style. Or in this. So all the sea song. I'm not sure you will see it, but okay, you know, maybe for the future. Maybe. That's all. Okay, let's not keep this any longer. And for the next project. There we go. Okay, so the next one was for Jedi Animation. And it was with the video Hide and P and the Heels. I decided to go with the Heel themes while my character wearing the heels and freaking fall on his face. I refused to stand up because the pain will continue. Okay, for this one I decided I didn't draw in the Jaden art style because okay to be fair, I think the main reason why to do one don't want to do the art style challenge constantly, like especially with people who are YouTubers and that stuff. What's because I have to first of all tweet them, like mention them because it's their art style and in some cases it's pretty much obvious, in some cases not so much. Okay, I think when it's not so much I usually just don't mention them. Because again, how the hell you can tell it's their art style. Because mostly uh, I did it so poorly that it's really impossible to tell it was. Like I think I did the same with Metal Family. And plus with YouTubers I really don't want to I really don't want to mention them too much. Because I think that's kind of making me look like a freaking creep who can let this guy or girl go along. I mean, I guess it's constantly happening, like there's some people for fans and they just want to make a fan so fun that's about this guy or girl or that person being human and na 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 na. Yeah, but I don't know, I still feel uncomfortable. Like, I usually like making different type of content. And I really don't want to look like freaking super fanboy who like obsessively think about those people. Because I'm not sure it's true. Because I personally see myself, I don't see myself like this, but you know. You never know how you will act when you meet them. I never meet them, but maybe one day I will. But for this note, yeah, nothing much. I would say maybe the heels are drawn pretty weak. Depends. Uh, I try to create a fact of like... If then you wear shorts and you lift your legs, the short will go slightly down due to gravity. I try to create something similar in fact. Also here I've been working on how my character's hair will look on the different angle. Because mostly you see them from angle looking straight at you and they always go this way or that way. But it's the first time when you see it in this way. I decided to go with this spike going back. The middle hair, which is usually the shortest one and usually go between the two spikes. You go like this and still be like this. Let's say it's still not exactly... Uh, okay. I make such unique hair stuff for my characters that I have no idea how it look from different angles. Okay, most of this angle and that angle. For this angle like this, I think it's pretty much obvious how it look look. And like this also. But as I said earlier, this one is pretty unique. So I decided... Okay, I'm still not sure how solid I will be on this decision, because mostly I think it will be easily changeable. But for now I decided to go with this, what my positive have, self have right now. The space going back. But I think they always go back, but you know... Yeah, spikes going back and the spikes in the middle of them all. I think it will be something close to that. I'm not sure how official it will be, or how realistic it will be. Although it's freaking art style, so you know it doesn't have to be realistic. I don't know, I really would like it to be realistic. Okay, not like super realistic, like realistic in some small aspect. Like not full, like, I want a full time body sketch. No, I will freaking die if I'm gonna do this. Like, my panels will not be appearing until a couple of days, and I will like have to start working on them. Like, before even I start making the video. Okay, let's not get this intro very Okay, let's not get this code very long and the next one we shall go. Okay, so the next panel is for Helltaker. Okay, for Helltaker, I would say the most thing I want to do right now is draw characters in the chibi mode. But mostly right now I have no meaning to do this because the name on this video is pretty different. It's called Sin Machine. And it's a reference to Bendy and an ink machine, but it's a Sin Machine. So here I just have to draw my Helltaker sooner. It's also uh, trying to be in close to art style of health take, but with legs, I never saw characters legs. And I would say, I mean, it's not like full time art style, I would say it's still my typical art style, but I just use the different elements for it of health take. 
like the eyes, the horns, the hair and the nose. Plus I did the shade trick, like Hellbaker. But also, the main of this point will be that Pochi feet totally like bandage. And he being chained up by this chains and he freaking enjoying it. With his leg being lifted up and his hands being freaking pushed inside of them. But I would say for this one also, I was usually using the reference remix of Judgment, where she appeared and building an exact copy of that machine. For character stuff, okay, the chains was like the hardest part to me to draw. Like, originally I decided to go like, find a reference image of the chains and try to draw super close to that. Freaking suck at this. Okay, no, the chains which tie my body were pretty fine. The chains which go going outside of my body, I really could not do it because mostly, yeah, I don't know. I find the reference image, try to draw it exactly in the reference image. Then I find the tutorial how to draw chains also did work. So I decided to just draw typical lines inside of them holes, and the second holes, and basically generally just bunch of holes. Still saying I already nailed it. It's not nicest looking chains. Like it's poorly chains. I wish I could do them better. But you know, there's a guy who I watch, who wants the right change. I think he give him a nice lesson. I have to watch him again. I think it's Pop Studio or something. Stu he make even a nice version of Heroes. And one time he did a Ghost Rider version of Heroes. And Ghost Rider have a chain weapon, so... Uh, I should not use that for reference. I should not go and find it on the internet. Yeah, why did you do this? Okay, well, it's too late. Also, I would say maybe the leg position is a bit more weirdish. Okay, maybe I should give him like the legs of oh, I'm about to pee myself. Like, you know, when they... Like this. Which I did for my stream whenever I'm on break. Okay, I'm not sure where I'll put this video. Okay, probably on GP, GP materials I will put the link. No, I will put the link at the end of the video. So go and watch till the end of the video and I also will do some information for the end of the video. Just say it at the beginning of the video, but we'll continue to the end of it. So yeah, fortunately to watch till the end, sorry. That's how content work on YouTube. But for that stuff, well, man, not much to say. Well, actually, I did machine draw pretty nice, but if I draw machine with reference drawing, and I think whenever I have a reference drawing, I will draw a bloody nice image. I think then I go blind, this can be weirder, so that's usually what my original work with me just come up with things with my mind is. Okay, if it's not 3D, like it's 3D, it also will be in my line of not my expertise. But yeah. But for that stuff, okay, for the next one we shall go because not much to say here. Okay, the next one is pretty weakish to be fair. Would say not my favorite one. Okay, so as I said earlier, the next one is not so original because it was it's mostly the actual expiration date from Team Fortress animation. And for my ideas, I would say I decided to the bread will bite my character's leg and my character will bite the bread. So here will be my problem how the character will put his leg inside of his mouth, because I had no idea how to do this. Like, I tried to do it myself, but you know, when you try to force your leg to your mouth, it's like really pain. But I did something like this, but I would say maybe, okay, it's one of the my minuses where the legs will be short or longer than the exposed to be. Like, they will be really disproportional. But if I would say proportion is like one of my biggest minuses ever. Yeah, like, never good at that. I decided to do the same effect to the shorts going a little bit down because of the gravity for all. I decided to use typical reporters. All I did before, did a little bit blood there, but I would say it's pretty weakish blood. So yeah, it's not like super original thumbnail. I think it's just thumbnail for being a thumbnail. The bread? Uh, not so cool. The tips? Yes, I'm not sure how original it is. Like I would say here, the lines of my hair get a little bit wider because they were shrinking and then leaving all those open pixels. Actually, I think that line of problems start appearing with more of my character's drawing because I don't know, maybe because I'm using that kind of black. Yeah, I don't know. I think we have a couple of my drawings with this line of problem. I don't think it's like not much of a problem because I can easily fix this. Or maybe this problem is here because I draw the head big and I shrink the head and then start drawing the body. I saw the line to the body is more thicker than the lines of the head and because I was shrinking that the lines of the head become so small that you can see behind. Yeah, it's pretty, it's probably the reason why it's happening right there. But for that note, again, pretty fast drawing, and again, not the best drawing. Okay, so for next one we shall go right, and now, that's also one of the simple drawing, which is, yeah, simple drawing. 
So the next one is also very simple and it was for my latest video of Not to explain it. So the point of this video will be show off like the woman was working on wires, my character was also working on wires, but I said to change a little bit for woman doing acrobatic, while my character is doing the spread legs thing, like you know the trucks and the guy who was spreading his legs. It's very weird sense to hear a guy spreading his legs, well that's what's happened in real life. Now by the woman I would say I bloody didn't remember how she was looking and I didn't use any red images. I just think she was wearing underwear, classical old school underwear, and that she was bald. But my characters I used a reference image of my old drawing. But say I think I draw him pretty fetish, and with fair, I think he kinda look like just a blob. But no, he's supposed to be doing the spread legs on the wires. He had the American flex on his shoulders. I didn't do any sign effect, sunlight effect or any shadering because I really want to do this. The typical background of Lachlan's planet, like those mountains and that this like yellow sky. I'm not sure about the clouds, I don't think there are the clouds. When there is a cloud, man, I have to pay attention to that. My character is pretty short on fetish, arms like this, legs spread. And the uh, fuck. Most for that stuff, man, not much to say. Yeah, I would say it's not one of my best work. Uh, but the next one, okay, it's also not my one of my best, but would say I like way it turn out. And also I try to get lots of things with this one. So let's just watch it right now. Okay, so I took a break to take a bath and change my clothes because in my place of origin it's summer and it's bloody freaking hot. It's just I've been switching my shorts all day because when I wear a short it will get sweaty in five minutes. And sweaty short is not so nice. I mean I, yeah, shorts usually get sweaty. Again, it's super annoying. And with some shorts it's super annoying and it takes sweaty. With others it's more terrible. Okay, so for this thumbnail I decided to draw my characters in art style of Timber from Viv the Pop. Man, it's super fast. Okay, so again, my negative style will be one-eyed, dirt man, but my positive self will have three eyes, but one of the eyes will be hidden. But for this art style I also did something new where, first of all, the shoulders will be uh, really going outside of the boundaries, like some of others to have. But the hips, like from shoulders, it will slowly go shrinking, shrinking up the hips where it will be super short. And arms will also will be super short. Also for next of me I did the same what I did with his short, but also I give him the butler butt flaps for the short he wear for the suit he wearing. For background it's what I, I see from this animation with trees, random people. Okay, those people are not from this animation because I didn't want to pay my details, so I decided to draw a bunch of random silhouettes. And for background it's basically what the same thing. Okay, to be fair, this was like a really fast drawing, I was not expecting this. Like for this drawing I did a little bit more work, but for some reason it's like super short. Okay, so for the comics, I decided to use a bit different fun to create something like with an effect. Now they all bump a bird like space, because I think that's like only the bird. I would say in animation they're more of head hats with feather, with the fur on it. I decided to give the face and the hair. Now for Bigs, I give the big and put me from big perspective of this one. But I guess he go from the what I usually have, where the lines of the hair get whiter because they got shrinking. Now again he have very strong chest, very thin legs, and he just dancing and the positive next of me is not much of a dance. To be fair, I think it's kinda realistic because when I was young I was much of random dance, I would dance like super weird and really weird moves. Well, now I'm a bit more shy and usually just shake my hands, tap my legs and clap after every concert. Like I don't go wild, so they can represent both of my part of my personality. Now for Chrome's arms, because the arms are super slender, I was a bit struggling how to make them look nice, but then figuring out how to make somewhat, I started to do this. But still not sure it's the nicest one. Now let's say the next of me is head is still pretty big, although in comparison I think it's pretty fine. Yeah, it's pretty fine. I did the same shorts holding effect, and man, actually nice, I actually like it. Again, okay, I would say in the thumbnail, like when I go on YouTube and find the thumbnail, it's a bit hard to tell what's, what the hell is going on, but when you do, you do. Plus I did a little bit and different. Like I would say for this one, I bloody tried to make it somewhat in with the art style, and like nothing from my originally. Just trying to 100% with the art style this. Okay, well, okay, with the... Timber art style. Although is it different? Well no, I think it's it's made in art style of 
Zal Obie, the comics to me. Yeah, pretty similar to that. Well, maybe the colors a bit more different. Yeah, I think it changed a little bit during the time because again, more people working on the city and that stuff, that stuff, and that stuff. Okay, Again, for the hands of the character and the feet, they will be black like freaking birds, horse. And um, yeah, nothing much to say. Fly colors, typical art colors, but I decided to go instead of the white people, they will be fully colored in the typical the art style. The typical eye color, and then the black part of the eye will be more darker. Well, in positive case, it will be more dark, in negative case, it will be more light. And for that stuff, yeah, not much to say. So, for the next one, it will be again very short panel because it's panel for this video, which you already saw, and which we already get the whole reason for it to be exist. So, let's go. Okay, so the whole point of the next panel is that I reuse the panel from my stream. And originally I was just planning to remove the lines, remove, change the color and then just basically the same panel just in human form. But then because I thought it would be messy and I have to remove a little bit more than expected, I decided to just redraw it in the human form. Yet it's still basically the same panel, I would say maybe my positive self is a bit more smaller and the head shape is a bit more different. The line is still the same, the background simple, my usual color on color, and I reuse the thumbnail again. It's a joke, I hope we will only repeat this time. I hope. I hope I will not repeat anymore. Okay, so for this one, let me introduce you my new feature. Instead of the end screen, I decided to Patreon Shadow. Here will be the black screen. You don't see my face right now. Actually, maybe I should put my face here. Yeah, let's put my face right here, and it's Patreon Shadow. Yeah, right there, on oh my. I left you will see the names of my patron and how much they pay me. Okay, because okay, as much as I don't be a fan of earning money, because I know, uh, okay, I actually don't have nothing against earning money, but my YouTube career, I think if I'm gonna try it, I think I would look like a freaking douche. So I'm not trying to do that, but I would say it would be nice to get some support from you. So, yeah. On my Patreon, I decided to offer a new brand offer. Because, first of all, from the first tier to the latest tier, it will be better on Shadow. So, whenever there will be someone who donate me something, I will put the name and how much they donated on my left box, and it slowly go down. So, yeah, it's kind of still a support. But you know what, I would not consider just support for nothing, so I decided to do something, like not just thank you, but actually yeah, it's thank you, but it's thank you directly to you. And if you wonder what my support patron can offer to you, he can offer to you a movie bot, which is fun, one dollar, when you can have my reaction video on my reaction video with the timer earlier, and like earlier on 3 slash 4 and sometimes even 5 days, and plus again shout out. Then a 5 tier list game plus and you can watch my reaction or my gameplay video earlier, or earlier access to my gameplay video and plus shout out for 2 dollars. Impatient lights, which is 4 dollars, it will see my work earlier with exception of drawing this art style and gameplay thumbnails, a plus also shout out. And then the final tier which is the most expensive one is 13 dollars for commission and plus Q&A, where you can ask me questions in my special Discord, well, you will get the special Discord role, and uh, you can ask me questions and commission me. Isn't this nice? Yeah, I think it's nice. And yes, it's... Uh, man, okay, I would say, honestly, I'm not a big fan of freaking promoting my Patreon, because... Yeah, I freaking want to earn money, but I don't want to be a guy who freaking say it constantly, like, go to my Patreon, go to my Patreon, go to my Patreon, but you know what, I have to talk about my Patreon a little bit, so you know it exist actually. Although I doubt this video will be watched, uh, especially until the end I doubt it will be watched. But for that stuff, on a final note, it was cheap GP. Till uh, my face slowly disappeared, or maybe no sorry, just disappear. And right now the Q and screen music, you can still see my patron, which you're gonna see because there's no patron right now. Like it's not known there. So no shout out today, you just turn I will shout out. But for now there's no one. Absolutely no one. Don't even hope for nobody. But on this note, go to my social media, go to my other to my channels, and like, share, subscribe, and a lot of stuff. And mostly the most important part, have a nice, wonderful day. Bye bye.